When I saw pictures of a retro green train running along the Japan coastline, I knew I had to see it in real life. Here's how it went. Today, we are heading to a place located an hour south of Tokyo, Fujisawa. I love train spotting in Japan. So when I discovered the train line I saw on Instagram was located only an hour away from Tokyo in a charming seaside coastal town, I jumped at the chance to visit the area. As it turns out, the Enoshima Electric Railway is one of the best ways to explore all the sightseeing spots along the Shonen coast, with the railway running from Fujisawa to Kamakura. In today's video, you'll discover different places to visit along the railway line and see what it's like to visit the Kamakura-Fujisawa area in the springtime. After dropping off my stuff at the hotel, I hopped on the train and head out to Enoshima Island. My day started off a little later, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to see all that the island had to offer. Plus, I wanted to make sure I made it off the island before it got dark. Long story short, if Enoshima Island is on your list of places to visit, plan to go earlier in the day to make sure you have enough time to see all of the main attractions like the Enoshima Sea Candle, Shrine, Caves, and more. I had enough walking for the day, so decided to just explore the food stalls and local shops located on the road leading up to the shrine. I also spent a good chunk of the time grabbing photos and videos of the amazing view from the island, and of course, the cherry blossom trees scattered around. After exploring, I head back to Fujisawa Station to get some work done before heading back to my hotel for an early night in. You guys, I am so excited. I'm on my way right now to meet Amy, my friend who moved to Japan from LA. She lives in this area, so we're gonna meet each other on the train, and I'm so excited, so let's head on out. This was my first time visiting Japan in the spring, and honestly, before this visit, I really didn't get the hype of cherry blossom season, but I definitely get it now. Japan is truly so beautiful in the springtime. There's something really special about how fleeting sakura season is. The fluffiness of the trees and the petals floating all around really stop you in your tracks because you want to appreciate it while it lasts. From Kamakura Station, we hopped on a local bus located right outside of the station and rode it to our first stop of the day, a small Buddhist temple with a bamboo garden. There's a small entrance fee to see the bamboo garden, but I think it's well worth it. The garden is tranquil with a narrow path that leads to a small tea house in the back, 
where you can sip on a cup of matcha while enjoying the bamboo forest. You don't need to venture far from the station to experience Kamakura sightseeing. If you exit Kamakura Station's east exit and walk straight past the buses out to the main road, you will hit a shopping area with lots of cute cafes, restaurants, local souvenir shops, street food stalls, and more. We were starting to get hungry by this point so decided to try a restaurant located off of one of the side shopping streets. Yes, it's much needed right now. After lunch, we hopped back on the Enadin line and got off a few stops away at Hase Station a station with two major sightseeing spots, a temple and a giant Buddha. But on this day, we were on a mission to check out the coffee shop culture in the area. Unfortunately, the cafe we went to is now permanently closed, but I highly recommend checking out the other coffee shops available in the same vicinity. I loved the view from the coastline in Kamakura. The wind and the rain started to pick up though, so instead of exploring Enoshima, we decided to grab happy hour from a restaurant located along the coast before calling it a day. So it is pouring rain outside for in Inoshima and we just walked into this place because we had a bar so we're just gonna get a drink and maybe a nap. <laughs> My last day in Fujisawa was another rainy one but I was determined to see what else the Enedin line had to offer. The first stop of the day took us back to Hase Station to visit the Great Buddha of Kamakura. The Kamakura Buddha is the second tallest bronze Buddha statue in Japan, second to the one at Tadaiji Temple in Nara. The bronze statue was built in 1252. It was originally located inside a building but due to natural disasters over the years, is now in the open air. Although a rainy day, the beauty of the area still shone through. I loved seeing the pops of color from the cars and umbrellas as I walked through the coastal town. The rain did hinder some of my exploring, but I was able to find a restaurant that allowed me to still take in the nostalgic beauty of the train from inside. I think this was my favorite meal during my spring trip in Japan, and that's saying a lot because I had a lot of memorable meals during this trip, which you'll see more of in upcoming Japan videos. 
This one was special. It was a true treat yourself meal. And all I could think about as I sat there watching the train pass by was wow. I am so grateful for where I am in my life. And I am so grateful to be here in Japan, exploring, learning, and growing as a human. I can't wait to show you how the rest of my spring trip to Japan unfolded. This was the first travel destination of my six week trip, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications turned on so you know when the next one is available. Until next time. <laughs>